on the white adhesive pad. Peel one white pad from the gray case. Place pad exactly as shown. Press firmly to clear skin. Stay clear of patient. Analyzing Everyone heart clear? Rhythm. All clear. Stay clear of patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Shock advised. Stay clear of mm -hmm. patient. Shock delivered. In the U.S. and many other countries, AEDs are classified as medical devices, so you'll need physician authorization to both purchase and provide care with an AED. Regulations and administrative codes vary widely. Check with Dan or your physician for more specific information on obtaining an AED unit and any restrictions on its use. If an AED is available and you verify the patient is not breathing, Remove the patient from standing water. While you can use an AED around wet environments like a pool or a boat or in the rain, you don't want to immerse the AED in water or spill liquid on it. Do not attach the AED unit to a person unless that person is unresponsive and breathing and circulation are absent. Place the unit near the patient's head on the patient's left side. Open it up and turn on the power. Once you turn on the power, the unit will begin a series of prompts directing you what to do next. Bare the chest, cutting away clothes, swimsuit, or bra material if necessary. Attach the defibrillator pads. They are marked to show proper placement. However, if you get the pads backwards, don't worry the AED unit can still read the heart rhythm. The pads need to make a good connection to the patient's chest. If the patient's chest is wet, you'll need to dry it off and possibly shave off chest hair. The AED unit will automatically analyze the heart rhythm. Remember to stay clear of the patient when the unit is analyzing or delivering a shock. You're clear, all clear. Stay clear of patients. If the unit detects ventricular fibrillation or another shockable rhythm, follow the AED unit's directions. It will prompt you to visually and verbally clear the patient and deliver the shock. Move supplemental oxygen away from the patient. You need to both verbally and visually clear the patient. State, okay. I'm clear, I'm clear. you're, you're clear. Clear. We're all clear, all clear. The AED may also determine that no shock is required. Immediately resume compressions. Once EMS arrives, quickly explain the care you provided. They may ask you to continue to provide care while they set up their own equipment. The medics may also attach their own defibrillator or may remove your pads and attach their own. There are several things you need to check if the AED can't analyze the heart rhythm. Pad problems are the most likely reason the AED will have problems analyzing a heart rhythm. The unit itself will offer suggestions on possible problems such as check pads for damage, check pad position, make sure pads are firmly attached, make sure pads are plugged into the machine completely, make sure there is no hair or moisture between the pad and the patient's chest. If the unit still has trouble analyzing the patient, stop all movement and do not touch the patient. If you're on a boat, to minimize vibration, you may also need to stop the engines. You may also need to check for a low battery. AED units don't require a lot of maintenance. Every day, you should check the status indicator. If a problem is indicated, you should not attempt to use it until it's been corrected. Low battery power is a possible problem. To change batteries, simply install a new or freshly recharged one. You should regularly check all the supplies and spares in the kit. They are all dated, so you need to make sure you have not exceeded any of those dates. 